Apex. Steve Miocic retaining his title, ending the trilogy off with a win, ending it two dubs to one, defeating Cormier via unanimous decision. Uh, it was an all-over-the-place fight, all-over-the-place judging. I saw some people thinking DC won. I saw some people saying D, uh, Stipe won. In the end, the judges would agree with Stipe. Um, we're get, we'll get into the contra- controversy of the fight in a second before we talk about that and what, what the whole controversy was. Andrew, how did you score the fight? Because personally, me, I saw some people, granted the minority, saying that DC won, um, but I'm curious how you scored it. You know, I had it, uh, it was it was 2-2 going into the fifth round. You know, and I'm I'm so torn because it's, for me, it's, it's the uh, the... The criteria which is used, you know, we need to prove upon it. Because I'm like, well, I could score it like this, but it's not necessarily the right way to score it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Which is a big deal to me. It's like, you know, how valuable is it to clinch up against a cage but not lead to anything? Or do you have to attack a certain, like, how effective do you have to be in the clinch for you to be scored a winning round? Like I said, I had a 2-2 going into that fifth round. I, th- I thought the rounds were a lot closer. I, you know, I will say I was torn. I thought, like, I, you know, I, and I guess I had it in the end for Stipe, but just barely. And it could have swung to DC's way. At the end of the day, I had my reasons for it wanting to swing the other way. And uh, <clears throat> saving the, U- you know, saving the UFC heavyweight, you know, weight class. But, you know, it ended the way it did. Um, but I was definitely frustrated with the, the scoring and the, uh, just just how the fight was scored was my big thing. You know, it was a good fight. Credit credit where credit's due. DC's fucking blind now and an eye. I don't <laughs> know if that's true. But uh yeah, that that was shitty to see. Yeah. Well, um if you guys don't know, DC I what was it, third or fourth round? I wanna say it was a third. Mm-hmm. Third round. Uh, and obviously a whole lot of the controversy going into this trilogy is eye pokes. I, both of them you know, poked each other in the eyes multiple times throughout the first two fights. Now, people only got mad about DC doing it because Stipe's a firefighter and one of the most loved UFC fighters, so him poking DC in the eyes twice over two fights didn't matter because DC did it three times, apparently. Um, anyways, though, uh, DC poked uh, Stipe in the eyes in the first round. It's kind of a light, light one. It was not that big. Uh, and then Stipe basically straight up molested uh, DC's brain in the third round. Probably the most vicious eye poke I've seen since Tony Ferguson, uh, Rafael Dos Anjos, um, abs- like years ago, which is probably the worst eye poke I've ever seen um, to date. Uh, this one rivals that. It was a terrible one. And DC apparently couldn't see out of his eye for the next two rounds. I believe the, um, I don't know what the actual, it was like a torn, like, something in his eye got, like, torn. I don't know exactly what it was, um, the official diagnosis, I don't remember exactly what it was, but still, very, very bad. Personally, me, I understand what you're talking about with the whole scoring thing, because, uh, generally speaking, and this is the thing, right, judges are incompetent in, in MMA, and this is one of the things that irritates me, is because if you get a takedown, or if you hold someone to the cage, and you don't do anything with it, that's not supposed to count. That's not supposed to count. But yet, there were various points of the fight where uh, Stipe would just hold DC up against the cage, and DC wasn't doing anything, and Stipe wasn't doing anything, and that really shouldn't matter. That's not supposed to be scored, but they'd give Stipe the, the control time, so you know he'd win that round. Personally, me, I had a fifth, uh, tied going into the fifth round, and they basically just held there and stalled for about you know four minutes of that five-minute round, and Stipe looked like the one who was doing a little bit more in the clinch, so I had to give him that fifth round. Um, I don't like that that's how it was scored, and I, you know, but at the same point, they, D, DC should have escaped, he should have done something more, um, and, you know, he was defending, but at the same point, CPA wasn't even trying to do anything with that. Overall, it was an amazing fight, you know, round one, I, I gave to DC, it was a really close round, um, but DC got the takedown, and he hurt him at the end of the round, so he's just a toss-up second round, Stipe hurt DC, took, took, took that round, third round, DC was still feeling the effects of the knockdown in the second round, so he got tagged. Fourth round, I thought DC outstruck him. Fifth round, you know, I just I just talked about it very, very, very close, but a whole lot of control time for Stipe. Um, good win for him, ends the trilogy, and super impressed, I mean, I gotta say this, man, I was super impressed with Stipe in this, because it's one thing, right, first first fight, DC knocks him out clean. Second fight, DC dominates up until the fourth round, all right? This one was mostly 
I mean, I felt like there was not a there was not a moment where Stipe was getting outclassed. He got outclassed for various points throughout the first two fights, and maybe you could chalk it chalk it up to you know him having a better game plan, or maybe DC's gotten older. But at the end of the day, he still came in there, and really, it was kind of more of a fight where he was dominating DC at various periods of the fight, chalk it up to a whole lot of things. But regardless, super impressed by him. He's going to be fighting in Ganu next, which is going to be. Oh my God, that's going to be an amazing fight. First fight was amazing, you know, so I can't wait for that second fight. Moving on to the co-main, um, if you guys thought that the end of Daniel Cormier's career with being a super, you know, an eye poke, not being able to see, controversial judging was depressing, uh, then maybe you'll maybe you'll like the co-main as well, because uh, Sean O'Malley, one of those promising fighters in the UFC, one of the rising stars. Losing the fight after being injured after we don't know exactly what the problem is still as of yet another injury report in the co-main. Uh, but anyways, he hurt his foot, hurt his leg, ended up going down. Marlon Vera jumped on with a few ground and pound strikes, and that was it. Um, what were your thoughts, man? I mean, I know I said I texted you afterwards that 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 was super lame, but I mean it was super depressing too, honestly. I mean it was something so uh, un- unmanageable. That that happened, dude. It, it's uh, it was unforeseen. You know, I expected, you know, if anything, maybe a very hard, you know, back and forth fight. You know, maybe maybe Sean trying to find, you know, his opening, giving, you know, having a, you know, just having a hard time going in. You know, not not the case. You know, sadly, um, that that injury really really messed it up. Um, I really do think that that, that was like the big thing, because you know people fight three injuries and all that like it happens you know you can you can do it you don't always necessarily you're, it's very hard to come out on top but uh that one was pretty bad um i mean hopefully he recovers quick hope i'm sure he'll be back and uh and i'm sure they'll fight again if, if there's some uh there's some animosity there so uh there's a, a story to be told there so i'm sure we'll see them again soon yeah and i really thought it was just because that fight was Forever long it lasted, you know, four minutes or so, and I think Sean was hurt the last minute. The first three minutes were pretty entertaining. You know, I thought we we got a glimpse of what that fight could have been. You know, Sean was going out there, he was throwing a lot of feints, he was getting Marlon to bite on a couple of those feints. Um, and Marlon, for what it's worth, really, I mean, he wasn't. Eventually, he stopped biting on them, and he he started doing a little bit of work. Um, but still, it just it, it sucked, man, 